Thank you very much. We hope you, the, as David has said, the work has started. And sometimes it's difficult to disengage. And that will be part of the process that we will be doing throughout the morning is we will be taking you through certain exercises. We, time, the word time has been mentioned a lot today. And certainly we know in healthcare with increasing demands, time is often on the, on the tip of everybody's tongues. And I don't think we've ever heard anybody say, we have time on our hands here, what should we do? So um, we are going to be pushing time. It will be just kind of flirting sometimes with some of these exercises. And the one that we wanted to talk about today is, is taking, referring back to the, one of the first slides that David mentioned was the relationship with self, other, and other. So what we wanted to do is, in our work over the years, we have certainly found that the vast majority of people in healthcare entered the field with a sense of meaning and a sense of a reason or a calling, if you want, or their sense of why they wanted to be in healthcare. We don't always have time to revisit it, so that's what we're going to ask you to do today. So take a moment, if you can, and reflect. And if you want to jot down a few notes, please do so, because we are going to be asking you to take a second step with this. So you can see on the slide here, we're asking you to just to think about a, your story. And this is reflecting on an experience in your work that held and that felt exceptionally meaningful to you. And that can be in anything. That can be with your patients and families. It could be with your colleagues. It could be do with anything. This is up to you. But the questions we want you to explore is who was present, what took place, where was it, and what was the impact on you, and what may have been the impact on others who were involved in this meaningful experience. So we're going to ask you to take a minute, and we'll call time on that, and then move into the next step. OK. So what we're going to do is take the next step. And this is Empathy 101. Everybody's been there. Everybody knows the word. This would not be a new exercise. But we're going to ask um, if you are going to be able to demonstrate at the basic need that we all have as human beings to be seen, heard, and understood. So we're going to ask you to share only what you're comfortable with, with one partner at the table. So your table hosts will help to do this. If there's an uneven number, then your table host will join up with that other person so that we can stay just as, as uh, partners of two. So what we're going to ask you to do is we're going to ask a volunteer, if your partner, to first begin and being able to tell your story. So when we look at what is empathy, empathy is listening to understand rather than to respond. That's one of the very first steps of empathic engagement. So what we're going to ask your partner who is listening to do is to suspend judgment. There's always that sense when somebody's telling a story that we may begin to identify with it. Oh, yeah, that happened to me. I remember that. And it may set off a series of emotions within ourselves. So we're going to ask you to suspend that as well. And then at the end of the story, if you need to ask any questions of clarification, just so that you completely understand and get a sense of what that person is talking about, then do so and ask a couple of those. Then we would ask you to do what we call, as you will be very familiar with, summarize or paraphrase, what that person is. To, and the reason that we're doing that is so that then you check, have you heard, have I, did I hear you correctly? Do I understand you correctly? Your speaker may have to make an adjustment. And they may have to say, well, not quite. This is sort of what I meant. That's normal. Because the role, as we know, of empathy is seeking to understand. So we don't have to be right. We just have to be right in how we're pursuing how to understand. And then, at the end of that, the person who is listening can share what it is that they were experiencing through that. So then we can see the little sentence stem at the end of the slide here is listening to your story, I felt. And then you can share that with your partner. The second piece of empathic engagement is connection, right? So this is what we're doing with our connection. Then we'll switch, and the, uh, the, uh, the listener will be able to tell their story, and we'll use the same process. So 
selecting a partner might be easier to select the person next to you. And, um, and as we say, the table hosts um, have volunteered to be able to partner up with somebody if you have an uneven number. If there's a table who needs any assistance with this, please put up your hand, we'll pop around, the host will be there and, and being able to help that out as well. Okay, so choose your partner and begin. <laughs>